Hello everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day. Now we've actually got some sun. Um, summer's finally here, woo! Um, well, here's, here in Berkshire anyway, I don't know if it's where you live, um, but it's very hot in the salon this week. So um, we have ordered some aircon, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna go through my top summer tips for grooming dogs in a salon, in the heat. Um, I've got lovely Steve here, say hi Steve. He is absolutely thrilled because I have literally just woken him up from a nap and he's fuming with me, look at him. Look at him, are you fuming with me? He's fuming with me. I just took him out of crate because he was fast asleep. Um, so I'm just gonna go through some of our summer grooming tips and, um, and what we kind of do and also some paw care and a couple of my favorite products um, for the paws as well. So Steve is a Scotty, he's a Scottish Terrier and they traditionally have a wire coat. Um, he has been neutered now so he's gone a bit thicker than, than what they normally um, do go. So I'm just gonna go through some of the grooming products that I use. And then, oh, let's just turn you around. I'm also gonna do some paw care as well. So I'm gonna start with paw care. So let me just tilt my camera down so you can see his little feet. So you can see by his little feet, don't look at me like that, Steve. <laughs> He's got quite a lot of hair and he has got quite dry and cracked pads here. Um, so they often do get this, sometimes it's diet related, um, also if they do a lot of pavement walking and things like that. Um, so I just clear out any hair here with my Arco. I know my darling, he's looking at me like, what are you doing? My mum normally trims me. And then I just have these little Roseline feet scissors. Um, they're really good because they're tiny. Now I don't know if any of you use Roseline scissors, but they are such good workhorse scissor. Um, I'm not gonna lie, dry. I think I've dropped these on the floor like five times and they still work. <laughs> so some uh, more expensive scissors, you wouldn't be able to do that, they'd break straight away. Um, they are quite a really a good workhorse scissor for the salon. So we use them quite a lot on feet, um, around kind of the tail area, things like that. Um, they are also good spares to have as well. If some of us break our, our scissors, then we have these as spares. So I'm just gonna go around his foot. So they have like a rounded foot. So we'll just scissor around here. Hey Steve. He doesn't have much hair because Steve actually belongs to my colleague Saskia. So he gets groomed all the time and he does have slightly ticklish feet. And she did just tell me this is the first time anyone else ever done his feet. So that's quite funny. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put some pore balm on. Here we've got Wild Wash Pore Balm. Um, we've got a couple of different makes, but it just really hydrates. It's got sweet almond oil um, and Kanuka honey as well in there. So it's really good just to apply. Can you stand up for me, darling? I'm sorry, I know you're tired because it's hot. He's like, what are you doing to me? So I'm just gonna pop it on the pad here and you can see it goes from dry, dry pad to shiny pad. And it just really hydrates, like we moisturize our coat. Um, it's just similar with the dogs as well. So we just need to make sure we hydrate their paws as well. Um, we do this in summer and in winter, because in summer they get hot and um, it protects them against the hot pavement a little bit. Obviously you should never walk them on hot pavement, but it does protect them a little bit. And also in winter when it's um, gritty, we, we put this on as well. We do offer it as a spa package in our salon. So we have it normally a long, good boy, and normally along with um, a teeth clean and a mud bath massage, things like that. So we have have that and then we do pore balm, um, particularly in summer because of um, the dryness that we see in pads. So we use that as well. So that's really good. So I'm just going to go on to brushing. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. I'm just going to brush in. I wanted to talk to you quickly about this Artero flash spray. Um, this is absolutely fantastic on black dogs. Um, any dogs like Labradors, things like that, it's fantastic. It conditions the coat, it protects the coat, and I find in the summer, when the sun is shining on them, they look beautiful. Um, so any smooth-coated dogs, we put this on, and, and kind of black dogs as well. Um, and it just makes them really shine in the summer. So this is a must-have in a salon. I absolutely love it. It smells incredible um, and the smell lasts as well so it does last for a good few days and all you do is you just sorry mate spray it on and brush it in so i'm just going to give him a quick brush through so you can see the difference so you can see it's quite scraggly at the moment you can see down the bottom there so i'm just going to spray this in and then show you again after hey baby good boy okay use my groom professional anti-static comb here because that's fantastic I love it and you'll see already the difference in his coat 
So not only does the, the comb glide through now, but it also looks glossy. It's left a nice condition on him as well. You can do it on the back as well. He hasn't actually been groomed. He's just had a, had a quick bath. But you can see the difference of combing this through. You can see the difference it makes already. It makes them so shiny, doesn't it? So shiny, which when the sun's out, looks incredible. So our Tiro Flash Spray, pink bottle. That one is amazing. Um, another top tip that I'm going to share that we do in the salon a lot in the summer is called a tram line. So it's just underneath the belly from behind the armpits all the way down to the hygiene area. We actually pick up the outside of the skirt here and we call a tram, we do a tram line. Um, so we get a 7F blade. I know it sounds quite severe, but the owners will not see this. So you still leave the outside of the skirt, lift this up and you literally 7F the whole belly and groin area. And it just really helps the dogs in the summer because when they lay on the concrete, it means they're getting skin to, skin, skin to concrete kind of contact there. And it really does cool them down. So that's my washing machine singing in the background. We have a washing machine that sings. Um, so I do a tram line. I always advise a lot of our customers to go for it in summer because it really does make a difference to the dogs. Um, this hair, as you know, dogs don't sweat. So they release their kind of heat through panting and through their pads as well. Um, and it really helps when they can lay on a cool, a really cool concrete. Are you okay? Do you want to go back to bed? He wants to go back to bed. He's had enough of me talking. Um, so in a salon to cool them down, make sure you always give them water. They need to have access to water all the time. Um, we normally have a bowl and we, we'll offer it to them before. Are you okay? Keeping you up. Um, we offer it before the bath, after the bath and after the groom as well. Um, we have to be quite careful because a lot of ours went after they're groomed, they go in a crate. If they have water, they will just splash it everywhere. Um, so we just offer it to them and then keep offering it to them. Um, so make sure they have water. Another thing to look out for in summer is heat stroke. It's really, really common in dogs. If we have any dogs come through the door that have signs of heat stroke, um, we send them straight home, to be honest. If they've got a really cold tongue, really pale gums, um, they've got sickness, diarrhea, excessive panting. So as I mentioned, panting is how they cool down. So panting is completely normal for a dog. It is also a way that they show that they're stressed. So you have to kind of piece them and decide which one is going on. Um, and it is really important to let them pant. So they need to be able to do that. So even with, uh, if you get an aggressive dog that needs a muzzle, they need to have breaks to take that off to allow them to pant. Um, don't you mate? Hey, he is so fed up of me. <laughs> Look how fed up he looks. This is how Steve feels in the summer. He just wants to go home and get in a nice pool, I think. Um, so a couple of other signs to look out for, as I mentioned, the pale gums, um, if they are panting and their tongue is curling. So if it's excessively curling round, that is a sign of heat strokes. So just be really careful with that one. Uh, pale gums, dehydration, sickness, diarrhea. They can, especially the Brachyspheliac breeds, so Bulldogs, um, Pugs, Frenchies, things like that, suffer with it really bad, as well as elderly dogs that have heart conditions can suffer with heat stroke really bad, and obviously ones that are really thick coated and matted as well. Um, so if we do have a really thick coated dog, for an example, Bernie's Mountain Dog in, like we had the other day, we actually moved his appointment earlier because it was less risk for him. Um, so don't be afraid to move your appointments around in summer if you need to, if it suits the dogs better. Um, some days we finish at half one, two o'clock, we start at half six, seven, um, just to get them in before it gets too hot as well. So you have to bear in mind when they're walking to your salon, if they're walking on concrete, then they could burn their paws. So that's really, really important. Um, when they come into the salon, we always check their paws to make sure they aren't burnt. Um, we've had a couple that have been quite severely burnt when they've gone on pavement walks like an hour before they've come for a groom and they're, they're red raw. Um, so just advise your owners. Most of the time it's just a complete un misunderstanding. They don't realise how hot it is because they've got shoes on. As soon as you tell them to go and pop their, put their palm or underarm on the floor, they normally panic and go, oh my gosh, what have I done? Um, so just make sure if they are suffering and the pavement's really hot, get them to carry their dogs, or as I said, big dogs, move them earlier so that they can get done. Um, so last of all, I'm just gonna talk to you about these scissors a bit more. So I've got three pairs of rose lines that I use quite um, regularly. I've got the rose line thinners, I've got the rose line wide blade, and I've got the feet scissors as well. So these little ones I just showed you to trim Steve's feet. 
Um, I find these good for feet and also edging ears as well because they're quite small, they're quite precise. You can get quite close to them, which is good. And then the thinners are used for kind of bulking work. So um, I do have a different pair of thinners to finish. I've got the Luminosa scissors to finish the thinners, sorry. Um, but these ones are really good for getting bulk or knots out and things like that. And then last of all, my wide blades. I love these for scissoring legs. They're quite good for thick coats. So if you have a really thick doodle, um, that your scissors are kind of not going through. Um, these, slice right through it, no problem at all. Um, so even if you have other scissors for finishing, these are amazing workhorse just to take some bulk off. Um, the wide blade is really good for finishing because you get more hair in there um, and it just leaves a plusher finish, so that's really nice. So, I think that is everything for today. I hope you all stay safe in summer, the doggies stay safe, and I will see you all soon. Bye!